I write some stuff for really young kids, and then I write some stuff for kids who are in, in kind of the 10 to 12 age range. That's kind of my, my real core age range with, I would say, like a precocious nine-year-old and a 13-year-old maybe reluctant reader. Mm -hmm. the, those kind of four years are where I really focus. What is your latest novel that you've been working on? Um, I have one coming out with Bloomsbury called Ronald Zupan and the Pirates of Borneo. <laughs> it's uh, it's about a boy who always wanted to be a master adventurer. You're going to hear a lot of themes that are consistent. A boy who always wanted to be a master adventurer and then he finally gets his chance when his parents are abducted by, by Borneo, uh, Malaysian pirates in Borneo. And so he goes off to Borneo with his best friend who is, uh, actually she's not even his best friend at first, she's his fencing rival, he wants to impress her, so he drags her off to Borneo and his butler, and they go try to rescue his parents. Oh, wow, so wonderful, fun. sounds very exciting. Yeah, and there's a sequel to that book coming out too, so I'm excited to, I get to write that this fall, and that'll be, uh -huh. it'll be fun, and I'm sure it'll be inspired by things like my trip to Nicaragua. Uh -huh. Looking forward to it, it'll be a fun process. Now, because the themes are pirates, do you find that they're more geared toward boys, or do girls enjoy them just as much? Um, that is a hot button issue in the world of children's books. That's really interesting. You know, I, I would never write anything for, to try and kind of show any sort of gender bias towards boys or girls. I would never think of myself as a writer who targets boys. Mm -hmm. Among editors, you know, you hear a lot that writers who write for boys are really hot because boys aren't reading and girls are less reluctant about reading. Those are just demographic statistics. But for me, you know, my dreams are more about, you know, one kid saying, wow, I really connected to this. And having told stories about pirates and high seas adventure and all sorts of things to kids for years and years, I've seen that, you know, that doesn't, that's not gender based. Right, that's, absolutely. When a kid connects to something, they connect. And, and when a kid connects to something really deeply, it's really neat to see. And certainly with gender, people mm -hmm. have these qualifiers, and it's a shame. So, yeah, my dream is that. There will be plenty of girls who are into pirates and into high seas swashbuckling adventure. And one of the stars Absolutely. of the novels is a is a girl who is constantly foiling this boy by being really awesome at things that he thinks that he's the most awesome at. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> Video on YouTube just yesterday about this gender um, situation, and they were interviewing young girls and boys and people of different age and asking them, "What does it look like to throw a ball like a girl?" or what does it look like to run like a girl? And they were doing the silly, girly runs, all of them, whether they were a boy or a girl, but the younger kids weren't doing it as much. So if you ask a young girl, um, has a girl throw a ball, she threw it hard and she threw it really well, and then if you asked an 18-year-old girl, she would throw it, you know, kind of silly and sloppy, like, you know, an unathletic girl. And so I think as kids get older, they start getting those impressions and stereotypes in their heads. And so, you know, I'm glad that you are helping to break those stereotypes. Yeah, I want to. I mean, that's just hearing that story makes that an even bigger ambition for me. It just really <laughs> influenced me quite a bit because that is horribly toxic. Like Isn't this it? idea, and and we see adults slipping into it all the time too, saying something like, you know, you throw I mean, like a girl, or or you're acting like a girl. You know, you're acting <laughs> right. like a girl who got her Barbie stolen or something, like these little shots that we take at kids, they really affect them. And it, it, when you hear something like that, it really kind of, for me, it's really kind of unnerving in the sense that it, it just makes me feel so uncomfortable that somehow we're quantifying gender as someone being less than. Right, absolutely. It's, you know, my work doesn't have any one central theme as far as, you know, issues that come up more and more. But the idea of combating fear and turning fear back and fear, you know, not necessarily just the fear of pirates coming and invading your hometown, <laughs> but also like the fears that come with insecurities, you know, in that Ronald Zupan and the Pirates of Borneo that I mentioned to you, the kid is really feeling like his parents are the most larger than life, awesome people on the planet. 